Here are the materials that you're going to need to do this origami star with calligraphy. Um, you need a black paper. This is just a thin uh, construction paper that I got from Staples. Um, the best is to use origami paper because it's thin so it's easy to fold. Um, but sometimes it doesn't have the size that you need. This one what is a 22 centimeter. I actually just bought 8.5 by 11 and I trimmed it down to 22 by 22 um, to get the ideal star size that I wanted. Um, and so there is, you'll need a pair of scissors, um, a bone folder for making really nice creases. This is obviously not necessary, but it's a nice to have. Um, you need a, a calligraphy nib, and then uh, this is just a white drawing ink, which is what I used for um, the calligraphy. So with these four items, we're going to be able to make this um, origami star and uh, the calligraphy as well. So this, we're going to start folding our origami star. Again, this is a 22 by 22 centimeter um, square. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to fold it into half. And I just always think the bone folder, it gets really nice creases. Uh, this is good for book binding and uh, origami for me anyways. So once you have it in half, you're going to fold this left bottom corner and match it up to the top. Line it up, make sure that if you were to crease it, it would come to a point right there, and this is lined up. So we're not going to crease the whole thing, we're just going to press down on the middle to create a little divot because we just need this as kind of like a guiding point at some at the following steps. So you kind of just create a little press down there, then you do the same thing. You move the top right corner down to the bottom. I like to turn my paper so I can get a better look at how the paper is lining up. So I'll hold that in place. And then I'm creating another divot in the center. So as you can see, I'm not folding the whole thing. So when I open it now, you're going to see that there's a center mark. Okay, so reminder your open edges at the top, and now you have the center mark here. At this point, you're taking the lower right-hand side corner, and you are putting it at that center point, okay? And, at, and right now, you are gonna be creasing this one all the way. Creating a crisp crease. Okay, and then you are going to take this corner that's touching that center mark and you're going to fold that against the edge to kind of create like a, a pie shape using my bone folder. So at that point, it should look like this. And then the next step, you are folding this bottom left corner upwards to meet the pie. <laughs> it's gonna kinda create another triangle, another little pie shape there. Use your wound folder. So that is where we're at right now. At this point, we are gonna take this and we're gonna fold it in half backwards. So now you're almost going to kind of have a little bouquet. So we're, we need to crease this part. So I'm using my bowl folder again to crease that part. Back in front. And there you go. At this moment, you are going to take your scissors and you're going to trim the excess of this Angle. So, there we go. Look at that. So right now, if you open this up, you have a pen. 
octagon, right? Great. So at this point, you are going to take the bottom and you are going to make sure that the two bottom corners are going to meet up at this folded line here. So it still needs to be parallel. So just make sure that point is touching that fold, that point is touching that fold. And you kind of have a guideline because you have a center crease. So this center crease should match up with the center crease the whole way through. So that's kind of what I use as my guide. As long as this point is touching that folded crease, that point is touching that folded crease, and the center folded crease is kind of like lined up with um, the rest of it, that's when you know you're doing okay. So at that point, you're going to create a crease. Now you're gonna do that for all five sides, okay? So I'm gonna turn, do the exact same thing. Most of these steps, you're gonna to need to do five times because it is a five-pointed star. Go. I am currently on my third fold. you can see like there's a clear pentagon in the middle and then there's a larger pentagon so this part was always the trickiest part for me so you kind of have to pay it really really close attention okay so we're creating one more set of fold lines to be able to create this full star so at this point you can fold this left part in so that it's the first fold is like this this part there's a center line here you need to fold this upwards oh gosh. to create like a little boat, like, well, it's not a boat, but. So as you can see, look, there is a straight fold and then you are folding up to create a triangle. And then inside here, you can see that there's a little tab that needs to be folded so this is going to be the shape that you're going to try to create okay like this so as you can see there's a little tab sticking out and then there's a, a, a clear fold so like that so it's a little bit tricky but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this little fold here this little crease is the most important part to create your star so I'm going to show you again so you have to do that for all five sides. So I've done this side, so now it's good to keep track because as long as you know you've done five, then you know you've done enough, okay? Because it all looks the same all the way around. So remember, I'm folding this, right? Like you're closing a book. And then with this crease up here, you are creating like this little tab that sticks out, which I think looks kind of like a the end of a boat, okay? And then you are creasing what's underneath here to create like a little fold okay so that's the second one I done I've done so now I'm turning it and I fold that like a book now I'm going to push up see the head of the boat sticking out my phone folder creating that little fold in there so that's my third one I'm gonna do it for my fourth time So we were making these little points here, okay? This one, this one, 
right? So as you can see right now, I'm gonna do a little fold like that. I'm gonna fold all of those little folds that we just created. And remember we did five. So at this point, you, you, if you do that, you kind of have like a little bowl shape. So now, it's this is kind of tricky, but not really. Sometimes it's really easy for it to come together, and sometimes it's a little bit tricky. So right now, if you press everything in, it kind of just folds into itself, amazingly enough, okay? But you have to have all those creases in place for it to fold like this collapse into the star shape, okay? So the back looks like this. It's still very, very like um, puffy, right? So let me take this apart, I'll show you again. So the most important part is like you create that little bowl, okay? If you are in this little bowl stage, it's already, you just kind of like crunch it together and then it will come into a star, okay? So that's what the back looks like. That's what the front looks like. Okay. Uh, okay. So at this point, we are going, getting a little bit more close now. So at this point, on this side, you are gonna take your, your first um, point here and you are gonna make it touch the middle and we are going to use the bone folder and fold it. So this creates this point. Um, at this point, the paper is getting a little bit thick, but that's why the bone folder is good because it doesn't require you to use your hand and press it as hard as, um, you know, sometimes it ends up hurting my fingers. So we are gonna be turning counterclockwise and we're gonna do the same thing to the next um, triangle. So we're trying to make a point here. We're folding upwards. Use a bone folder in your hand to fold that. So we're going to turn counterclockwise. We're going to do that to the third one. meets the middle with all the others and then you're going to create a point and the last one is the usually the trickiest one because you have to fold it in and there's already has the star in there so I kind of like like to peek and make sure that you're actually folding the, everything into the center again surface for our beautiful calligraphy. So there you are. Okay, so that is your origami star.